Hi! If you just bought your first keyboard or piano and you don't know where to get started, you've come to the right place. I've made this little mini-series just for you so you can jumpstart your piano playing career. It's going to have a couple of parts and we're going to gradually build up your skills and vocabulary. And I plan to release a video approximately uh, maybe once or twice a month. Let's get started and we'll need a little bit of terminology. If you look at the piano keyboard, you see it's made out of repeating units. You have two black keys, three black keys, two, three, two, three, and so forth. The white key to the left of any two black keys is called a C. So this is a C, this is a C, this is a C, and so forth. The notes are named following the C, uh, as you would perhaps expect them to be. This is a C, D, E, F, G, and then it wraps around and A goes back to A, B, and C. And it keeps going. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, so we got the naming under our belt. The first thing I want to teach you in terms of playing is how to play a couple of simple chords. And I'm going to assume that you want to accompany yourself singing on the piano. That's kind of the popular approach to playing the piano, so maybe you'd want to sound like this. I'm going to teach you four chords, which will be C major, F major, G major, and A minor. Or I just play them out, C major, F major, G major, and A minor. If I don't say major after a chord name, it's assumed. So I'll just maybe call them C, F, G, and A minor. Let me start by showing you how to play them. Again, you can play them either in the left or in the right hand. We're going to focus on the right hand for starters. Here's a C major chord, and I'm playing three notes. All of the chords have three notes uh, in this video, and I'm playing a G, a C, and an E with my right hand. Now, notice the fingering. The fingering means which fingers I use to play this chord. I'm using my thumb, my first finger, and my fourth finger. Now this is largely a matter of taste. You could use this fingering as well. Thumb, third finger, and fifth finger. It's kind of up to you to experiment and see what feels natural for you. The next chord is F major. So I'm playing an A, C, and F. And I'm using my thumb, first finger, and fifth finger on the right hand. And the fingers are just numbered the way you'd expect them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For the G major chord, I'm playing a G, B, and D with my thumb, first finger, and fourth finger. And finally, for A minor, I'm playing an A, C, and E with thumb, first finger, and fourth finger. Again, experiment, you might find it more convenient to use your thumb, third finger, and fifth finger to play some of these voicings. Now what about your left hand? So the left hand is going to play the bass note. And the bass note is simply going to be the name of the chord, the note that corresponds to the name of the chord. So for a C major chord in the right hand, you're going to play a C note in the left hand. For an F, you'd play an F note in the left hand. For an A minor, you play an A in the left hand, and for a G, a G major, you play a G, the note G, in your left hand. It doesn't really matter how you finger these, you can just even use one finger if it's more convenient for you, so you can just jump around. But it's more convenient a little bit to put all of your five fingers like this, such that your thumb rests on the C, and then you can 
press the C with your thumb, the F with your pinky, with your fifth finger, the A with your third, and G with your fourth finger. So you don't have to jump around, your hand, hand just rests evenly on one spot. So now you have four chords under your belt, and you can experiment, first of all start by experimenting with different combinations. So let's see, you can start with a C, going to an F, going to an A minor, going to a G. How about a different combination? Let's go for something that starts with an A minor, goes to a C major, then goes to a, let's say, F major and G major. Let's go for a third combination, just to see how it sounds. Let's do an F major to a C major, to a G major to an A minor. F major, C major, G major, A minor. Now, a great number of popular songs have been written using just these four chords. And just go online and look for some of your favorite songs and see uh, which ones were written using C, F, G, and A minor. Now, one more thing before we conclude for today, and that is basically what you can do to add some motion and interest to your playing is once you've hit a chord, just repeat it at constant intervals. So I'm going to play it and then hopefully that will give you an idea of what I mean. And I'll play, a, let's say, a C major to an F major to a C major to an F major and so forth. While I'm playing, by the way, I'm holding down my piano pedal, so you can't see it with the camera, but all of keyboards today come with pedals and pianos come with pedals, and the nice thing about the pedal is that if I don't press the pedal and I press a note and let go, the note stops. But if I hold down the pedal and I press the note and I leave it, it keeps on ringing. And the same goes with a chord, without a pedal, and with a pedal. So the idea is to hold down the pedal for as long as you're on a particular chord. When you switch between chords, be sure to depress the pedal so the previous chord doesn't keep on ringing when you switch to the new chord. So I'm keeping my pedal pressed here, depressing it, and to the F major, you can I depress it and press it again, depress and press, and so forth. So this will give you a nice full sound when playing. And of course the sort of quintessential song that you probably want to check out for these four chords is Imagine by John Lennon. Uh, do go ahead and, and have a look. And in the next lesson, I'm going to show you four different ways, interesting ways in which you can make your playing sound more interesting. So not just push down the chords, but make it sound more mature, complex, and sophisticated. That's it. I hope you've learned something interesting. Welcome to your first lesson for playing the piano. I hope you'll have many more and enjoy your path, and I'll see you next time.